Where can you conduct scientific research, meet really cool students from all over the country, and learn from some of the best scientists in the field, all in the same summer program? At Nimbus, we are the National Institute for Mathematical and Biological Synthesis, a National Science Foundation-sponsored institute located on the campus of the University of Tennessee in Knoxville. For eight weeks each summer, the Nimbus REU program, that stands for Research Experiences for Undergraduates, provides undergrads in math, biology, and related fields the opportunity to conduct research on projects at the interface of math and biology. A generous stipend, campus housing, and some travel funds for getting to and from Knoxville are also provided. Here's what one student had to say about her experience. Oh, uh, I really like the interdisciplinary nature of the project, so I like to work in the lab with Kim, uh, who's an amazing professor and uh, she knows a lot about biology, and, and also work with my group mates who are math majors and combine those two and communicate between the two fields. This is unique because it's really uh, like an important puzzle, as Kim said, in her big project. It's a 10-year-old project that Kim has been working on, and this part is uh, would, if we get to do this experiment and analyze the data, it would answer some really important questions for this project. So it's kind of exciting to, to be part of the solving the last piece of the puzzle. Not only will you work with world-class researchers and conduct original research, you might also have the chance to present your results at a professional conference, like these students from the 2011 REU program. Several students traveled to Boston in January 2012 to present at the Joint Math Meetings, an annual conference for mathematicians from around the world. Um, I'm Lindsay Lee, and I'm at the Joint Math Meetings right now in Boston. Ann and I, along with a couple of vet students and a whole bunch of mentors, um, did a summer REU project on modeling the feral cat dynamics in Knox County, Tennessee. Um, um, it's probably my favorite thing I've ever done over the summer because uh, we were just given, first of all, the project is really neat and it's something I'm really interested in, like math modeling, um, it's like math applied to something that really feels real because I've done a lot of research where you, uh, I don't know, at the end of the project you don't really feel like you did anything, uh, but the, at the end of this project the people we worked with who actually work with spaying the cats and work with the feral cat problem in Tennessee, they told us that they were really, really glad um, that we did this research and we gave them the information, that the exact information that they needed and it was really, really, really cool. Um, Hi, my name is Dana Botestano and I'm a mathematics major at Mount Holyoke College. The project I was working on together with uh, my teammates and my academic mentors was on testing if male attractiveness matters when female uh, birds invest energy into their offspring. There's this theory, which is called the differential allocation hypothesis, that states that uh, if a female is paired up with an attractive male, she will invest more energy into the offspring. And this is just for uh, avian species. Uh, and so the purpose of our project this summer was to create a mathematical and statistical model and see whether this theory is actually true or not using mathematics. Um, today I'm going to present this poster over here and tomorrow I'm going to give a talk on the same project. Dr. Susan Lenhart is a math professor at the University of Tennessee. She helps organize the program and serves as a mentor. Our program gives students a chance to participate in the research process and this can help them to decide whether their future career plans should include research as a prominent part. RU students work hard, but they also play hard, making time for hikes in the Smoky Mountains or visits to other local attractions. Oh, we've had so much fun. Um, we've gone out and done a lot of things because uh, Nimbus is located here uh, on the campus of the University of Tennessee. We've been in Knoxville. We've done a lot of great things out in the Great Smoky Mountains. Um, uh, one of probably my favorite events was going out hiking to see the syn synchronous fireflies, which only occurs in two parts of the world. One is in Asia and one is here in uh, Knoxville. Um, and it might be considered uh, like the nerd Super Bowl where you go out kind of at 10 o'clock at night to see all these fireflies light up at the same time. Um, but that's been a lot of fun and everyone went out. Uh, and did that. Uh, so we've done a lot of hiking. We've gone out and done a lot of events together, um, picnicking, camping. Some of us have gone uh, rock climbing. 
um, kayaking, whitewater rafting, um, we've gone out and done some theater and had meals together, um, board games. We've all had a lot of fun and done a lot of fun things together. So it's a lot of work, but we all managed to decompress. Okay. The value of the Nimbus program to me personally has been, um, it's allowed me to apply um, what I've known in my classes, what I've learned in my classes to the field, um, which is really important. We spend a lot of time in class learning from books, and this has given me an opportunity to apply uh, what I know in class um, and mend it together with mathematics and science together. Um, and apply it out in the real world. You can find out more about the Nimbus REU on our website, including an online application. The deadline for applying to the 2012 REU program is February 17th. Apply today.